Aleluya. Amen.
we have received life of his fullness we have received peace joy blessings we are not giving praise this morning father we thank you thank you Jesus thank you Jesus Lord we give you praise we give you worship we give you praise we give you worship we give you praise, Lord. We give you worship. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. He is worthy of honor. He is worthy of adoration. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. You didn't beg to be God. You are just God. Jesus. Jesus. Our rock. Jesus. Our sustainer. We give you praise. We honor you this morning. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we give thanks. Oh, Lord, we invite you to this place this morning. Come, oh God, in your special way. In this worship this morning. Come, oh God, in your special way, especially on this table this morning, Jesus, we ask, you will do wonders, that which no man can do. In this place of fellowship this morning, you will do for us. 
there shall be encouragement. Oh, through the instrumentality of your word, there shall be life. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you for the gift your people brought this morning. We ask, oh God, that you will bless them. Thank you, Father, for answered prayers. For our members that are watching online, we ask, Heavenly Father, that in a very special way also, you will minister to their needs. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Can we put our hands together for Jesus this morning? Hallelujah. There shall be showers of blessing. There shall be showers of blessing. I say there shall be showers of blessing. Amen. That is the opening hymn this morning. In 264, there shall be showers of blessing.
the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Scripture reading for this morning service shall be found in the book of Genesis chapter 26. We are reading from verse 1 to 25. Genesis chapter 26 from verse 1 to 25. I read. And there was a famine in the land beside the first famine that was in the day of Abraham. And Isaac went unto Abimelech, king of the Philistines, unto Gera. And the Lord appeared unto him and said, Go not down into Egypt, dwell in the land which I shall tell thee of. So join in this land, and I will be with thee, and I will bless thee. For unto thee and unto thy seed, I will give all these countries, and I will perform the oath which I swear unto Abraham thy father. And I will make thy seed to multiply as the stars of heaven, and I will give unto thy seed all these countries. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because that Abraham obeyed my voice, and kept my charge, my commandment, my status, and my laws. And Isaac dwelt in Gera, and the men of the place asked him of his wife, and he said, She is my sister. For he feared to say, 
she's my wife. Lest, said he, the men of the place should kill me for Rebekah, because she was fear to look upon. Verse 8. And it came to pass, when he had been there a long time, that Abimelech, king of the Philistines, looked out at a window and saw, and behold, Isaac was potting with Rebekah, his wife. And Abimelech called Isaac and said, Behold, of a surety, she is thy wife. And how said thou, she is my sister. And Isaac said unto him, Because I said, lest I die for her. And Abimelech said, What is this that thou hast done unto us? One of the people might likely have lied with thy wife, and thou shouldest have brought goodness upon us. And Abimelech charged all his people, saying, He that toucheth this man or his wife shall surely be put to death. Then Isis sowed in that land and received in the same year an hundredfold, and the Lord blessed him. And the man waxed great and went forward and grew until he became very great. For he had possession of flocks and possession of arts and of great store of servants, and the Philistines envied him. For all the wells which his father's servants had digged in the days of Abraham, his father, the Philistines had stopped them and fed them with art. And Abimelech said unto Isaac, Go from us, for thou art much mightier than we. And Isaac departed thence and pinched in tent in the valley of Gerah and dwelt there. And Isaac dig again the wells of water, which they had digged in the days of Abraham his father. For the Philistines had stopped them after the death of Abraham, and he called their names after the names by which his father had called them. And Isaac's servant dig in the valley and found there a well of springing water. And the headman of Gera did strive with Isaac's Men, admin, saying, The water is ours. And he called the name of the well Essek, because they strove with him. And they dig another well, and strove for that also, which he called the name of it Sitna. And he removed from thence, and dig another well. And for that they strove not. And he called the name of it Rehoboth. And he said, for now, the Lord hath made room for us, and we shall be fruitful in the land. And he went up from thence to Bathsheba, and the Lord appeared unto him in the same night, and said, I am the God of Abraham thy father. Fear not, for I am with thee, and I will bless thee, and will multiply thy seed of, for, the, for my servant Abraham's sake. The last verse, which is verse 25. And he builded an altar there and called upon the name of the Lord and pinched in tent, his tent there. And there, I see servants dig a well. May the word of the Lord enrich our body, soul, and spirit in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Praise the living Jesus. We thank God. This is the first Sunday in the month of April. The Lord has spared our lives. He has started well with us. He will continue to move us forward in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, before we approach the table of the Lord this morning, the Lord has invited us to table. But let me say, whether we are going to partake of this table or not, the Word of God is for every one of us. I believe personally, because I've experienced it, the Word of God works. It works. If the words of human beings work in our lives, then the Word of God works. 
this is what I mean, you will discover that when we are growing up, we are product of words. Is it not? The words of our parents, our friends, family members have worked. There are some people, they had negative words, insults, um, abuses, and causes when they were growing up. And by the time they became teenagers, these things began to manifest through of us. And there were people who had encouraging words when growing up. And you see that these things manifested in their lives. How much more the word of God? If we are able to appropriate it when we believe it and we appropriate it, I believe it will work for us in Jesus' name. This month, our theme is covenant of fruitfulness and enlargement. Covenant of fruitfulness and enlargement. And we have taken our theme verse from Genesis 17 verse 2. And it says, And I will make my covenant between me and thee, and we multiply thee exceedingly. That I will multiply thee. So this morning I'll be talking briefly about the power for fruitfulness. The power for what? Fruitfulness. There is a power that makes a man fruitful. There is one power that God releases upon a man and makes him fruitful. And this morning we are looking at the life of Isaac. So if I have something that I've been praying for and I'm believing God to do in our lives, including me, is that God will release upon us power for what? Fruitfulness. For multiplication. I'm sure we have heard, sometimes when we are talking about certain people, they will describe them this way. They will say, whatever they lay their hands upon, we always what? If they are selling ordinary leave, ordinary leave, before you know it, everybody wants to buy leave from them. What is in leave? I don't know. You are selling leave, maybe Gedu leave or Ijoku leave and whatever. It's only our daddies and mommy who live the village we know away Ijoku. Abi? Or nothing more called Kolobo. Abi? Okay, I'm having digi lokoni. I don't know how many away Ijoku you want to say that we'll be able to build a house. But there are people. When. The power of fruitfulness rests upon them. They will build house. A man of God was talking, giving an example. Where he was abusing those of us who went to school. And you acquired certificate. But you still have to go to a woman selling a car around your house. That when you need 100,000, she will just enter the house and do what? And bring it. And she's selling ordinary a car. Or he rule. When you knock in a house by 12 midnight and say, Mama, I'm in trouble. Please borrow me 200,000 dollars. Come back 7 a.m. She will just enter the house and do what? And here am I. First degree, second degree, third degree, fifth degree, seventh degree, hundred degree. Abby? That is what I'm believing God for. I'm not saying those of us who did not go, go to school. We are saying whatever is your calling. I am trusting God for power for what? Fruitfulness. That is our focus this morning. As we pray. As we approach this table. But like I've said, even when you are not going to participate in this communion, the word of God will work for you. And one of the things we are suffering from as Christians, is fruitfulness. You are going to see Isaac very briefly. They troubled him. The more they troubled him, they thought it's about the well. They don't know that the man has swallowed the power for fruitfulness. Once they push him, the moment he moves forward, fruitfulness. And at the time, the man said, Kuku, go away from us because you are too much. I'm trusting that anywhere we are, member for Solita, member for Peter, they will say, you are too much. Yeah. They will just say, you are what? 
move away. You are too much. It is a power. It's not by copying. My friend is selling pure water. I must sell pure water. My friend is selling bread. I must sell bread. Which one is your own? When you carry the power, if they uproot you from Ibadan and they take you to Sambisa Forest, if the power rests upon you, I'm telling you, in the next six months, they will know that somebody has come. That is what I'm talking about. Even inside what? Sambisa Forest. You don't need to take anything. They say, we are taking you there now, now, now. And say, no worry, no shaking. You will not take your certificate. You will not take your bag. Just the way you are. As soon as you enter Sambisa Forest, the next six months, they will say, uh -uh, where did he come from? That's the power I'm trusting God for. Honestly. It doesn't matter what we are doing. It doesn't matter what we are doing. Fruitfulness. And do you know that God created us with fruitfulness? God created every human being to be what? To be fruitful. Genesis 1, 28 and 29. The Bible says, and God blessed them. And God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. And so, the, the adjectives are too much. Abi, it's like God, when God was talking, I'm not abusing God though. God was so sure of his product. He did not give room for failure. And he started saying, look, go, replenish, subdue, dominate. Are you following me? One will have been enough if it is God. Abi, but I see God here multiplying. He said, look, be fruitful, multiply, replenish. Subdue, have dominion. That is too much. That is what? So why are we not going to be fruitful? He gave us that power. Well, when man fell, the power was reduced. But we thank God that in Jesus Christ it was restored hundredfold. That the cause of profitless labor was broken. It has been restored. So God wants us to prosper that it doesn't matter where you are. You just manifest. That will be our portion in Jesus' name. When somebody is fruitful, like I mentioned on Tuesday, fruitfulness enforces enlargement. Abi, fruitfulness does what? Enlargement. Look, even this fruit that we are looking at, this one, I hope they can project it. As I'm looking at this one, you need to buy a truck to take it to the market. Is it not so? You need to buy a truck to take it to the market. Please show it on the other screen, like you did at the center, a console room. You need to buy a truck. But assuming that this tree brought only five, if you take these five to the market, what you need, they will measure small place for you. They say, ah, in Kamelo, like Bewasi, or Jatevek, Bobuaye. But if you, if you go to the market with this, and they see your truck reversing. Reversing. Abi? Because they must make room for you. So, fruitfulness forces enlargement. It forces expansion. And of course, when you are able to sell well, you prosper. Our target is what? Fruitfulness. We saw it in the life of Peter when Jesus asked him to cast his net on the other side. The Bible says the fish that he caught was so much that the net began to do what? To break. Not only that. He said two, Peter and his brother were not able to carry it alone. He had to beckon to 
other people. The blessing we are trusting God for is such that you will have to be looking for men to work for you. Because you won't be able to undo it alone. And God will do it in the mighty name of Jesus. God has always done it in Orita Mepha Baptist Church. He has always done it. And I believe it is the turn of another generation. It is what? The turn of another generation. Not only that, the Bible tells, that tells us about Peter that even his own boat was not able to contain it. They had to borrow more boats. They have to look for more boats. That is fruitfulness. And what good news I see from the Bible is that fruitfulness has no age limit. Fruitfulness has no what? I don't see anybody in this hall saying, well, I want to show you what I want to show I want to show you I don't know. That would be limiting God. We are talking about the anointing for fruitfulness. Whatever you touch will just be expanding and expanding. And it shall be so in Jesus' name. Like I said, we believers are suffering from fruitfulness. We are suffering from what? We are suffering from it. In all the areas, whether material, academic, financial, or professional, marital, biological. But I believe there is a power for it. And God will release that power. Because of my time, let me just go to Isaac. I have limited time. In this passage that we read and in the life of Isaac, I saw eight things that I will mention quickly. Four was God's part. Then four was Isaac's part. And I will mention the four and then we will pray. Number one, the first part is what I called God's part or responsibility in this fruitfulness. What part did God play? Number one, God laid a foundation of the covenant. He built fruitfulness on what? Covenant. Even when he created the heaven and the earth, it was created based on covenant. When he made the sun, the moon, and the star, it was covenant. That's what God said in the book of Jeremiah. He said, if it's only if my covenant with day and night can be broken, that is where my covenant with David cannot, will not work. So when you see sun coming out and moon coming out, it is working based on what? Covenant. God had a covenant with the sun and the moon. And it's still working till now. So the foundation of the fruitfulness of Isaac was based on covenant. Genesis 17, 7. God talking to Abraham. He said, and I will establish my covenant between me and thee. And thy seed after thee in their generations for an everlasting covenant. This verse is loaded. It is between you and me, Abraham, but it will not stop on you. It will move to the next generation. Not only the next generation, said it's going to be an everlasting one. And you will agree with me that even Israel, as small as they are, they are prospering till now. And I think as Christians, we can benefit from that covenant. The same Genesis 17, 21, God came to Isaac. He said, but I know he was speaking to Abraham too concerning Isaac. He said, but my covenant will I establish with who? Isaac. Which Sarah shall bear unto thee. So the foundation is what? Covenant. Where our power fails, the covenant takes over. Where our own ability is limited, the covenant of God takes over. We have seen this work over and over again in the life of the Israelites. Even Abraham, in Genesis 17, where God was talking to him, Abraham failed God. And for the next 13 years, God did not talk to him because he gave back to Ishmael. We, God, did not direct him. But one day, God said, I remember my covenant. And God said, ah, what shall I do with this man? What shall I do with this man? Should I leave him alone? What shall I do with you? God said, what? 
Moti kpe, moti kpe, no? I cannot change my mind. And then God came one day and came one day and said, Abraham, he said, ah, Baba, you have come. He said, I have come. I have to bless you. No, no. That will be your portion. God said, I have to continue with you. I won't leave you. And God said, walk before me and be thou perfect. And then he started talking. Starting years, God remembered. That is something about covenant. God does not forget his covenant. He will not forget his own with us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Number two, what worked for Isaac? Inherited, inherited covenant. We have just read it. God made a promise. Alright? Inherited covenant. In Genesis 25, 11, Look at what God did. It was transferred to Isaac. The Bible says, And it came to pass, after the death of Abraham, that God blessed his son Isaac. After the death of what? Abraham. God did what? For me. It was a transfer. It was a transfer. Because the dead could no more produce. But the living could. So the power to produce, to make things happen, was transferred to Isaac. By God himself. So you will notice that the difference is who? God. God deliberately transferred. And you know that Causes are transferred to true or false. Yes. Causes are transferred from family. In the same family, the devil will make sure that everybody has a portion. And that portion is destroyed in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. So I believe that if causes are transferred from father to children, what about blessing? That was what God did. He transferred the blessing from Abraham to Isaac. And he said, this blessing will not die in your family. And I speak to every one of us, including myself. The blessing that is upon our family will never die. Amen. It will be transferred to our children. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I have mentioned two. The first one is the foundation of the covenant. The second one that worked for Isaac is transferred or inherited covenant were transferred. Number three, that work for Isaac was God's appearance. God's appearance and presence in Isaac's life. Genesis 26 verse 2. The Bible says, let me read from verse 1. The Bible says, and there was a famine in the land, beside the first famine that was in the days of Abraham. And Isaac went unto Abimelech, king of the Philistines, unto Jera. And the Lord appeared unto him. God's appearance. In verse 24 also, the Bible says, And the Lord appeared unto him the same night, and said unto him, I am the God of Abraham, thy father. Fear not, for I am with thee, and I will bless thee, and I will multiply thee for my sake, my servant Abraham's sake. It is appearance. God's presence in our life matters. The people will call it the God factor. When God appeared to Abraham, what did he do? Number one, he came to give him instruction. Number one, he came to do what? Give, we need instruction from God. Instruction. In verse 2 of chapter 26 that we read, the Lord appeared unto him, Isaac, and said, Go not down into Egypt. Dwell in this land. Don't go to Egypt. So, God came to give him instruction. And you know that obedience is better than what? Sacrifice. Instruction. God said, don't leave this place. Don't japa. Don't japa. God appeared to him, number two, to reassure him. In verse 24 that we read, God told him, I am the God of their father. Fear not. You remember the man of God, Reverend Sunday, I were told that anytime God says fear not, that means somebody is fearing. Because if there's no fear, there's no need to say fear not. There's no need. There's no need. So when God says fear not, know that somebody is afraid. So God came to assure him, so don't be afraid. 
Number three, God came to warn him. Don't repeat your father's mistake. Don't repeat what? Don't repeat your father's mistake. Don't repeat your father's error. Your father fell into error. Don't repeat it. If I remember, it's one of the prayers we are going to pray. That will not fall into another person's error. Somebody I read somewhere said, My son is somebody who learns from other people's mistakes. My son is not somebody who learns from his own mistake. I don't know whether you get the difference. My son, the, go- the son that I gave back to, is one who learns from what? Other people's mistakes. Not from his own error. God came to warn him, don't repeat your father's mistake. Because if you repeat your father's mistake, you will get your father's result. God was telling Isaac, your result is different. I want to take this blessing to another level. Don't repeat it. You know, Isaac had a tendency of repeating his father's mistake two times. Number one, he also wanted to go to where? Egypt. God said, don't go. And by the time he came to Abimelech, he repeated his father's mistake. They saw his wife and said, this woman is beautiful and whatever. And said, ah, she's not my wife, she's my what? Sister. If not for God, the woman was gone. We thank God for fathers, but it is not everything we can copy from them. We thank God for fathers. It's not one of the things when we do counseling that I ask people to write. I ask them to write, write 10 things that you like about your parents' marriage. Then, write 10 things that you don't like about their marriage that you will not do. And we discuss it. God said, don't repeat your father's error. Don't repeat your father's error. Number four, God renewed his covenant with Isaac. Renewal of covenant. Those are the things on the part of God that worked for Isaac. The Genesis 26, 3 to 5 that we read. God said from verse 3, Sojourn in this land, and I will be with thee, and I will bless thee, for unto thee and to thy seed. God is already taking care of his own children too. I will give all these countries and I will perform the oath which I swear unto Abraham thy father. And I will make thy seed to multiply as the stars of heaven. And I will give unto thy seed all these countries. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. If you notice verses 3 to 5, there were seven I will that God was talking here. I will, I will. Because of time, I will not mention it. But when we get home, read line by line, you will see seven of them. Seven different things that God mentioned when he was renewing this covenant. So when God finished his own part, what were Isaac's responsibilities? Which is an example we can copy. The Bible says these scriptures were written for our example. For our example. The first thing I seek in the life of Isaac is this. Number one, he referenced God. Isaac referenced God. At least that one, he copied from his father and he followed it. Genesis 24, 63. Genesis 24, 63. Or let me read from verse 2. The Bible says, And Isaac came from the well, from the way of the well of Laharoi, for he dwelt in the south country. And Isaac went out to meditate in the field at the even tide. And he lifted up his eyes and saw, and behold, the camels were walking. All the time when Eliezer went to look for a wife for him, what was Isaac doing? He was praying. He was praying. Though a very hard-working man, he will still set time aside to seek the face of God. He was praying. The Bible says he went to do what? To meditate. The secrets of God are with those who fear him. The secrets of God are with those who fear him. Those who seek him. God will reveal secrets to them. God will reveal secrets to them. Not only that, in Genesis 25, 
verse 21. To see that this man referenced God, he was always seeking the face of God, always praying. Quality time. Isaac 20, uh, sorry, Genesis 25 21. The Bible says, And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren. And the Lord was entreated of him. And Rebekah, his wife, did what? Conceived. He prayed for his wife. Isaac was an intercessor. Isaac prayed about everything. When the wife was coming, he was praying. When the wife was barren, he prayed. He prayed. He didn't say, well, I'm even tired of praying. Some people have mentioned it openly. Say, this prayer cannot solve the problem of Nigeria. We are, we are just wasting our time. We have been praying all this while. What has happened? Ah, if God had not answered our prayer. God said, pray without it's an instruction. And we are going to be obedient, then we need to obey that word. Just pray. God knows what we do with our prayers. So Isaac reverence God every time. In Genesis 26, 21. Okay, it's 26, 25, I'm sorry. It should be 26, 25. After the God appeared to him the second time, look at what he did again. The Bible says, And Isaac built an altar and called upon the name of the Lord and pitched his tent there. And there Isaac's servants dig a well. He also did what? He built an altar, a permanent altar for prayer. And he didn't live far away from his altar. He didn't live. So God factor in his life also. He had a going, a good and ongoing working relationship with God. Before we take any step, I see we ask God, God, what shall I do? And God will talk to him. The second thing that worked for Isaac is obedience. Obedience. Isaac was obedient. In Genesis 26, 2 that we read, God said, don't go down to Egypt. Don't go down. And in verse 6, look at what said, just one verse. That was to emphasize the obedience of Isaac. The Bible says, and Isaac dwelt where? In Jera. When God spoke to him, all he did was say, yes, sir. And he dwelt where? In Jera. That is the end. He did not begin to say, God, if you don't want me to go to Egypt, let water flow from the mountain to the valley. If you want me to go, as I throw out this, uh, what is it? Maybe spoon. Let the spoon co- use his face to cover the ground. God, if you want me to go to Egypt or you don't want me to go, let the sun set by 6 p.m. He did not test God. God has spoken. And that is the final. That is the final. There was no hypothesis about it. No theory. No philosophy. He was obedient. The third thing that worked for Isaac is that he was diligent and hardworking. Very diligent and hardworking. 26, 13, to, uh, 12 to 13. The Bible says, Then Isaac sowed in that land. He sowed in that land. He went to work. And received in the same year an hundredfold. And the Lord blessed him. Verse 13 says, And the man was great and went forward and grew. I don't know whether we are noticing those movements. The first thing is that he did what? He was great. He was great. Not only that, he did what? He went forward. He did not remain in the same spot. Not only that, he did what? He grew. He multiplied and became very great. Verse 14 said, For he had possession of flock and possession of hearts and great store of servants. And the Philistines envied him. Until people begin to envy you, you are not yet blessed. Your blessing must cause envy. Your blessing must do what? It is not sinful. It is not a cause. Your blessing must 
make people to envy you. At least this is one man who is an example. He was so blessed, they envied him. They envied him. In verse 16, the envy was so much, even the king cannot but notice it. And he called him once and said, Isaac, you have to leave this place. Go away from us, for thou art much mightier. I pray once again, everyone connected with Orita Mepha Baptist Church, this will be our testimony. Anywhere we appear, they will say, you are too much. Because our God, Jehovah too, God is too much. We must, remain, we must resemble him. They will say, you are too much. When did you come here? Uh -uh. And you want to take over this place? Say, don't blame me. He said, you me, no. Anointing me. I cannot help it. I cannot help it. I cannot help it. That will be our testimony. He was very hardworking. He went to work. These days, we see young people who don't want to work. They want to finish NYC today. The following day, they want to build two houses. The following day, they want to buy five cars at the same time. At the same time, it doesn't work that way. And that's why they are looking, they are looking for corners to cut. All manner of shady things. Things that God will not be proud of. God has not changed his principles. He will never change it. The last one I see from the life of Isaac is persistence. Isaac was persistent. He didn't give up. Genesis 26 from 17 to 22. About four, three or four times he would dig well. The enemies will do what they will come and do what and cover it. He will move forward. He was not really a fighter. And God was fighting for him. Maluti o Neru. And there are people like that. I am one of them. I can't fight. But God fights for me. I can't fight. But God fights for me. He will dig another one. They will take it over. He will dig another one. He will take it over. He was not like Jacob. Ah, you can't cheat Jacob and go score for you. Man. Like a man of God was talking somewhere. I can't remember. He was preaching. Oh, yeah. On Friday, we, we went to uh, a, a program. And he said one man of God was preaching somewhere. And, then, and as he was preaching, open ear crusade. Some people were disturbing him. And he said, well, he said, the Holy Spirit, while you are laughing your joy. So he dropped the microphone and went to, because he himself before, 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 ah, before, before he was, oh, one beg, he didn't know. So he left the podium, and he, and he just, he just crusade, he be, oh, yeah, we the fool. And everybody disappeared, said, ah, this one, where? <laughs> I don't know whether we, but, I don't know whether it was right or wrong. But that day it worked though. It worked. But as time goes on, I believe God will tell him, uh, my son, it is not like that. But he felt that, ah, ah, you knew me before now. Now, I'm bringing the original for you so that your life will change. You are disturbing me. Ah, is she Holy Spirit? Wale Pari? Shalom and your jewel. And the older Sokale, Lori, put your whole about one, man. Everybody disparaged on Kakia. <laughs> Praise God. And then he, said, he now came back and I started preaching. Ah. Praise God. Isaac was persistent. He kept on digging wells. And the enemies will take it over. He will continue to dig. Until one day, one day, he got to Rio boat. And at that time, they did not disturb him. The challenge is, please, keep on doing that thing that you know how to do. One day, one day, the goodness and the mercy will follow you. You know, one thing about when God gives us a vision is that at a time we come, when people will know you with that thing, Abby, and they will be looking for you. 
I look at some, some, some captains of industries in this country, people like Baba Onosode and the rest of them, they didn't study business. So. They studied classics. Baba studied classics in UI. But by the time he died, he was in the boardroom of so many corporations because he was persistently constant. So at the time, he was no more running after money. Money was running after him. It is not money first. Be identified with something. And you know we have problems in this country. We don't know that God has gift, gifted us differently. There are people, like we said, they have that brain to start new businesses. Somebody they will come by, they will just look and say, ah, this business ought to be here, and they will start it. Take them to another town. They will look and say, ah, this good, this place. They will just, they will just see something. But see, some, they don't have the grace. Once they build it to this level, their grace will begin to diminish. They will need another set of people that will do what? That will build it. And there are another set of people. When that business has plateaued and it's about falling, there are people God has set. Their own is, they like racing businesses that are doing what? That are falling. They will take it to the next level. But in Nigeria, we are jack of all trades. I think I can start new things. I have seen my life. I am not somebody, when you say, go and start something, I will be lost. But build that thing to a level and say, okay, come and take over from this place. That is my area. I've seen it over the years. So if I now begin to compete with an evangelist or an apostle, I am a fool. I will be a big fool. We don't know who we are. So we are competing among ourselves. We don't know our limitations. If only God will help us to know that we need each other. The starter needs the developer. The developer needs the stabilizer. The stabilizer needs somebody who can recover. But we are always against each other. Against each other. We'll be fighting over things that we, we ought not to fight for. We are so unique, each one of us. If we only we allow God to show us where can I fit in properly. And you see, some people, who, their own is just, they are developers. They say, they will cheat this man. They say, I'm going to start my own. And you cheated one man and you think you will grow. I want to make a to Lord, to Jigbe, to make a They are waiting. They are waiting. They will eat it. He was, he was persistent. He kept on digging well. Digging well. And I could perceive that people were telling him, if, see, if this well does not pay you, why don't you do something else, Abby? Yeah, you can also do this. You can also do this. He said, no, I have been called to do what? To dig well. And one day, one day, he dug well. He landed in the boat. And I said, now God has done what? Made room. All the people that we see making it now, establishing it, doing that, they didn't start one day. They were just persistent. Doing one thing. Only one thing they know how to do. And when prosperity now comes, we say, ah, where did he come from? Who is his father? He doesn't have to have a father. It is the anointing. I want us to rise as we pray. We are praying one prayer. Father, the power for fruitfulness, give me. Release to my life. I will just leave us to pray for about five or seven minutes. I don't know whether you are as passionate about this message as I am. Father, anointing for fruitfulness. Father, release it to my life. Can we pray in the name of Jesus? Anointing for fruitfulness. Anointing for fruitfulness. That is what I need. That is what I need. Anointing for fruitfulness. You can be an administrator. 
You don't have to be selling things. You don't have to be a manufacturer. No. Whatever it is that God has called you to do. Anointing for fruitfulness. Oh Lord. Anointing for fruitfulness. You can be a scientist, social scientist, whatever it is. We are not focusing on any particular profession because you are so unique. Anointing for fruitfulness, oh Lord. Even in ministry, we need anointing for fruitfulness. In my family, anointing for fruitfulness. Are we praying? Are we praying? Are we praying? Something that will single me out. Something that will make me so unique. Father, I cry to you today. Anoint me. Transfer the power for fruitfulness into my life. Fruitfulness. It is an insult to God for one to be barren. Barren in all the areas of life. He has made it available. I believe God has made it available. He has made it available. He has made it available. And it does not matter where we are now. It does not matter where we are falling from. God is giving another opportunity this morning. Anointing for fruitfulness. Father, let me be sought for. Let men look for me. 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 As a problem solver. As a solution provider. Let men look for me. Are we praying? Are we praying? Are we praying? Are we praying? We are not yet satisfied. Where we are, we are still low. There is room up there. There is room. There is room up there. 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 The expansion we have is not enough. Even as individuals, as a church, I've been praying also, God, let us help us to break forth to the right, to the left. Anointing for fruitfulness. Let it rest upon me. It does not matter where I appear. The anointing will just flow out. The anointing will just manifest itself. Oh, let that power rest upon me. Even for the fruit of the womb. For the fruit of the womb. It is a power. For multiplication. 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 Let your grace multiply upon my life. In the name of Jesus. Let your grace make a difference in my life. Let your grace make a difference, O oh Lord. Let your grace make a difference, O oh Lord. Let your grace make a difference, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. There's nothing as beautiful as people looking for you. They just be recommending you, recommending you, recommending you. Father, I receive divine recommendation. Over the work of, of my hand, divine recommendation. Father, advertise me by yourself. Advertise me by yourself. Advertise me by yourself. Divine recommendation. 
Let me be sought for, O Lord. Let me be sought for. Let men look for me. I want us to really pray this morning. I don't know. Fruitfulness. We need it now, 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 now. Why the people are feeling while harvesting nothing? Isaac was exporting. Isaac was still exporting. Even the king had no harvest. And this is the time we need it most. In this time of dryness and hardship, our star must shine. In the midst of competition, Father, single me out. In the midst of competition, single me out. Single me out. Single me out. Single me out. In the name of Jesus, 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 in the name of Jesus. Malito vrendo sekete kete ya baba 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 ya rata da vrado sekete li baba 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 ya kaka ga vrendos ye ge 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 robos ri baba 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 la bos chente li gra baba 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 ya kaka 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 Father bless me to the point of envy bless me to the point of envy. Lord, let me wax great. Let me move forward. Let me grow until I will become very great. You can even be a counselor. Just counseling people. Just counseling people. Just consulting for people. Our product, righteous product, whatever it is, must be in demand. In demand. Whatever it is, I don't know. We have so many professionals in this house. Each person in this whole area. Let my product be in demand. Let my services be in demand. Let my ministry be in demand. Mm. Let my idea, the idea that you have given me, let it be in demand. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Locate me. Locate me. Locate me. Father, locate me. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah to you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I believe this prayer will not end here. When we get home at our own time, let us pray again. I believe so much in it. So much in this prayer. When that anointing comes upon you, you can no more be hidden. Even when you want to hide, <laughs> your light will always shine. And and yeah, le sapa mo. I I I want to pray one B, yeah one B, a jade sita. And our light must do what? Must shine, and it shall shine in Jesus' name. Finally, let us pray. Father, appear to me. Speak to me. Instruct me. Appear to me. Speak to me. Instruct me. Appear to me. 
speak to me, instruct me. Appear to me, speak to me, instruct me. Give me a hearing here, an obedient heart. Hearing here, obedient heart. Father, give it to me. Thank you, Father. Glory be to your name, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Father, we ask that Lord Almighty, the anointing, the covenant for blessing, for fruitfulness, let it rest upon every one of us. In the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that covenant of blessing that you transfer from Abraham to blessing at Isaac. It was renewed in Jesus Christ. Father, let it be renewed in our lives in the name of Jesus. In our congregation, in all the areas of our lives, no one shall be barren. No one shall be barren. No one shall be barren. In the name of Jesus. Father, we noticed that when Judas, on the negative side, when he swallowed that bread, the Bible says, and Satan jumped into him. We know it works in the positive too. But that's the purpose of the Lord's table. When they partook of that table, when they ate that bread and they drank the blood, the anointing for fruitfulness entered into them. As we partake of this Lord's table today, the anointing, the power for fruitfulness, Lord, will jump into us. It will jump into us. It will jump into us. It will become resident in us. In the name of Jesus. As Isaac prospered, each one of us, everyone associated with only time I Baptist Church shall prosper. Amen. Every man, woman, human being associated with our church, they will be fruitful. Amen. They will be fruitful. Amen. They will be fruitful. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. we cause the root of barrenness. Amen. We cause the root of barrenness. Amen. We cause the root of barrenness. We cause the root of lack of productivity. We cause the root of lack of productivity. In the name of Jesus. Every marriage, every family, every calling, every ministry, every profession. Receive life. Receive life. Even as a student. Receive life in the name of Jesus. In the midst of darkness, we will shine. Every dream that has dried, that has been discouraged, and we are saying, well, I can't go on again. Receive life. Be revived. Be restored. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Can we have a seat? Well, I'm sorry I've taken so much time. It is just what I'm passionate about. And I believe it will manifest in our lives. In the name of Jesus. I want to invite all the deacons and deaconess to please come to the front. Let's come to take our seat as we go to the Lord's uh, table. Then, those of us who are Baptist trained pastors will sit in the front. This is where we are going to be served. Uh, and because of this unique message, I didn't tell Baba before, uh, Daddy Ayokunle will lead us in the Holy Communion. I didn't tell him, but I just felt persuaded that this is a special one. Uh, so, Daddy, please. You are welcome, sir. 
please, I want us to just approach the table referently. And uh, I believe that the Lord is going to meet us at the points of our needs in Jesus' name. You are already you are already dressed like a bishop. You are already dressed like like a bishop, sir. So, is it not Bishop Rick? Uh, so. yes, yes. Praise the Lord. Well, uh, to unveil, let me call Dickness Akinwale. Please come on this side. Then Dickin Ulubodno, okay. Please come to unveil. Then to pray over the bread, let me call Dickin Professor Bamiji Babalola. Please come. Uh, we are always prepared. We should be prepared at all times. I believe we have the anointing already. Then pray over the element. Let me call uh, Dickness be Daramola. Please come. You will pray over the wine. So I will pray. Father, we thank you for the privilege of coming to your presence this morning. We appreciate you because of the gift of life and the opportunity we have to call you Father. We thank you, King of kings and Lord of lords, for giving your son for us. He died and rose again. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for the body that you have given unto us. Father, he said we should eat this for his remembrance. And as we do this, that we keep ourselves purified. Lord, we commit this bread into your hand, which signifies his body. Father, we ask, as we eat of it today, that will see our newness as being part of this body in the name of Jesus. As this body is one, so we shall be one in the name of Jesus. The devil will not be able to separate us from it in Jesus' name. We may be punished, we may be crucified, we may, we may be punished, we may be chastised, we may be not whatsoever persecuted because you belong to this body. We ask Heavenly Father that we we'll stand by him all the days of our lives in the name of Jesus. This body has been, has been bruised for our health. We say we receive help in Jesus' name. This body has been chastised for our peace. We ask Heavenly Father as we partake of it today, we we'll receive peace in Jesus' name. Father, we we'll receive it and sanctify it in the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Father Jesus, we are so grateful unto you for inviting us to this table. Thank you because what you did many years ago still exists up to today. And for the wonders in the blood, it has never failed. So we dedicate this blood unto you, this wine, we make it a point of contact to your blood. What your blood does, the cleansing power, the healing power, the sanctifying power, the gracious power, and the power that brings covenant of peace, we say it shall do in our lives today in the name of Jesus. So as we take it, we remember Calvary, and we say, walk your wonders, O Lord. Walk your wonders 
in a beautiful way in our lives in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. The wine is of blood, and so it shall walk according to your will. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let me thank my pastor for the impromptu assignment he has given to me. Uh, we cannot reject assignment from our pastor and from the Lord. That's why, like the Boy Scout, we must be prepared all the time. And when I was dressing for church, I was dressing normally. I didn't dress to lead anything here today. Uh, we, let's quickly look at 1 Corinthians chapter 11. 1 Corinthians chapter 11. I will read verses 23 to 34 quickly and give one or two instructions that we know just to re-emphasize these things so that coming before the Lord in communion will be a blessing to all of us. First Corinthians 11, from verse 23. For I received from the Lord what also I passed to you, on the night when he was betrayed, the Lord Jesus took bread. He gave thanks, broke it, and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he also took the bread and said, This cup is the new covenant Testament established by my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Therefore, Whoever eats this bread or drinks this cup of the Lord in an unworthy way will be guilty of sin against the body and blood of the Lord. So, a man should examine himself. In this way, he should eat the bread and drink the cup. For whoever eats and drinks without recognizing the body is and drink judgment on himself. This is why many are sick and ill among you, and many are fully asleep. If we were probably evaluating ourselves, we would not be judged. But when we are judged, we are disciplined by the Lord, so that we may not be condemned with the world. Therefore, my brothers and sisters today, when you come together to eat as we come now, wait for one another. If anyone is hungry, he or she should eat at home. So that when you gather together as we gather now, we will not come under judgment. I pray our gathering together today will not be for judgment but rather for blessing in the name of Jesus. Please take care of what the Lord wants us to take care of. Whenever he comes or calls us together like this, is to strengthen our cord with one another and with them. And it's also to open more doors of blessings to each and every one of us. If there are anyone that is to be forgiven. Please, for Christ's sake, whom you say is your Lord, please forgive that individual. Accept a sin unto death. And the sin unto death is a sin against the Holy Spirit. And we are not in charge of that. God is in charge of that. 
So every other sin is forgivable. Also, when you get the cup and the, 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 the bread, wait until we tell you, eat and drink. That is unity of purpose. Let us also evaluate ourselves that we are not constantly living in sin. Righteousness is a nation. But sin is a reproach to any people. I pray once again, as we prepare to take this body of the Lord and the blood that was shed for us, we will be one with them and they will be with us. The order of his presence that followed Isaac that we saw today will follow us everywhere we go. Don't forget, this communion table is a covenant. Covenant with the Lord of life. And may you and I never be taken out of that covenant. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Dickens, please let's come. Uh, as we already arranged. Tables 1 to 5 first. 1 to 6. Table 6 to 14. Table 6 to 14 now. 6 to 14. Book 7 to 14. 7 to 14. Gallery. Those who are assigned to gallery. Yes, no. Gallery.
if you have not been served either the wine or the bread, can you just signify with raised hands wherever you are so that they can come and attend to you? Raise the hand properly. There is somebody there. Then the other one. Baptized believers. thanks let us thank the Lord father we thank you because of your body that was broken for our sins on the cross may we never suffer from the penalty of sin any longer in the name of Jesus father we pray through your broken body the enemy will not be able to oppress us anymore we declare our freedom. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. He broke the bread and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Eat.
In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and said, This cup is the new covenant established by my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Drink. Please, from the, you, my right here, which is your left, pack the cups to the last person from row to row, and the deacons will go out and retrieve all the cups. Ghost and power, just as the prophet or this is the day of the Lord of the rain. God is moving in His power again. By, By anointing Jesus breaks the yoke. By anointing Jesus breaks the yoke. Just as the prophet told. 
May the power and the presence of the Lord be your everlasting portion. Amen. It is mark of the covenant. Follow us all, all the days of our lives in the name of Jesus. Thank you, eternal Father. We rejoice in the power of your salvation. And we remain saved in you forever. Amen. From all the powers of hell, we are delivered. Amen. Thank you for the hope of eternal life. As we live with you here or not, we shall eventually reign with you in heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for your power. May he continue to deliver unto us. Everything that pertains to life and godliness. Amen. Blessed be thy name O Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. So let's go to our seats and prepare to finish up the remaining part of the worship. Please let's put our hands together for our daddy, the Dickens and Dicknesses. We have received strength. Let's continue to clap. We have received strength to clap, to clap, to clap, to clap, to clap. We are just appreciating God in their lives. It takes a lot of organization to do this in a big church like this. But we thank God for the the grace upon our dickens and dicknesses. You will see that every day we are perfecting the method so that we can move faster. We appreciate you. Praise the Lord! I think we have received power for fruitfulness. Praise the Lord! Amen. Good morning to us, church. At this time, we like to recognize our guest. And if I guess in our midst, today is the first time you are coming to worship with us in this place. We like to recognize you, and we want you to rise up from where you are seated. Let us. Then we, the choir, the choir will render our welcome song to you. And the ushers will bring you to this uh, reserve seat in front. God bless you as you have come. Thank you, choir. The ushers will give you a card. Kindly fill the card correctly and hand it uh, over to the ushers during the offertory. Don't drop into the offering bag. And at the appropriate time, you will be given a fuller recognition. Offering time is time for us to give. And uh, the ushers, please. Can we have the ushers in front so that we can pray? Shall we pray? In Jesus' name, our Father and our God, your word says in the book of Luke chapter 6 verse 38 that we should give it shall be given unto you. 
good measure, pressed down, shaking, to over, shaking together and running over, shall men give to your bosom. Father, we want to fulfill your word at this time to give unto you out of the abundance of your blessings upon our lives. Father, we ask that, Lord, please accept us and accept our offering in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that, Lord, you will continue to bless us greatly, even as we give unto you in Jesus' name. We pray that, Lord, whatever we have given, Lord, will be used to promote your kingdom work here on earth in Jesus' name. And it shall not be counted against us in judgment in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for answered prayers. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. We have two of, uh, colors of uh, offering bags. The red is for the Titan offering and, and capital projects of the church. And the, we have the blue is for the, the concern and care ministry of the church. Please let us give generously and cheerfully. The Lord will bless us in return in Jesus' name. And if you'd like to give uh, online, we have the council room we project. Oh, it's already on the board the bank details of the church. The Lord will bless us as we do so in Jesus' name. We will take our notices while the offering is going on. As we are singing the recessional hymn, we will take the love offering that we are supposed to take during uh, the communion. Please don't let us forget. Uh, all Dickens and Dickenesses will recess to the pastor's office for Thanksgiving after the service. Our notices now. We want to appreciate all our youths who joined us yesterday as we conducted OBMS entrance examination for the 2004-2005 session. We want to appreciate God in their lives. And the Lord will continue to lift up the heads of our youth in Jesus' name. Thank you very much for doing that for the Lord. Uh, before I go on, I think there's one testimony. You remember last Sunday we prayed for a pastor that we did not know. Uh, he is a missionary of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. I just got the details. He, he was stationed in Burundi. But he had to go on a mission to Uganda. Then after finishing the mission and he was returning a vehicle, that was when he, they ran into the hand of um, bandits. And then there and then he was shot. The wife was also kidnapped and they taken onto the top of a mountain. And as we learned, they were threatening to rape her. And she kept on shouting, my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. My body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And they couldn't touch her. So when they got to the, temp to the mountain top, they, they allowed her to go. But not with bruises and whatever. And one of them said, well, let her go back and take care of her husband. By the time the husband got to the hospital, he didn't even know where he was. As we were praying last Sunday, it was three days after. He just opened his eyes and said, where am I? Where am I? Uh, we need to bring back this testimony because here we called upon the name of the Lord and God answered us. Even for those we do not know, God hears. Uh, last Sunday also when we finished the service, the other missionary we prayed for in the accident also came to say thank you. I wish he was here. He didn't come during the service. But he asked me to appreciate you so much for your prayers and divine intervention. God answer prayers here. God is here. And he will continue to answer us in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Items 2, 3, and 4, and plus 1 that we did not put in the bulletin, and we are very sorry for that. We are going to observe them immediately after this um, announcement. The first one is the home dedication of our brother and sister, Mr. Oluwa Tobi. And Mrs. Comfort or Lanero, we, they are going to dedicate their home to the Lord. And of course, we will call for Thanksgiving the family of our daddy and mommy, Mr. and Mrs. Thomas Alagbe, 
Daddy Alagbe turned 70 by the special grace of God. They'll be coming to the pulpit for Thanksgiving. Then we to rejoice also uh, in Thanksgiving, the family and children of late Mr. Oyebisi and late Dickness Ruth Ogundipe, they will be coming also for Thanksgiving by the special grace of God. We do all of those ones in quick succession. Then item four, wedding invitation. The family of Mr. Abel and Mrs. Grace are row. They are inviting the church to the wedding of their daughter, Sister Peace, Oluwatomi Sinyaro, and Brother Oluwatobi Jesutofumi Shonibare. All right, this Tuesday, April 9 at 11 a.m. Can we identify and rejoice with Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Abel and Sister Grace Aro? Please, where are you? The arrows. All right, at the gallery here. Congratulations. Uh, is uh, Peace and Oluwatobi in the church? Where are they? Peace. Peaceable peace. Okay, they are here. All right. Ah, your face has changed, though. Uh, Mr. Shonibare is one of our teachers. He has already prepared for marriage. Uh, new court and the rest of them. You are really prepared. Ah, Nibino, ah, Nibino. After all, you, you will still be here. So, congratulations. The Lord will take control in Jesus' name. Please, let's pray for this family. You're welcome. Item 5, Soul Winners Conference. This will start from next Sunday, 14th of April to Wednesday, 17th April. We meet as from 6 p.m., but know that when we have special programs like that, the praise and worship starts 5.30, so that the message can start by 6 p.m. And our resource person is Professor Duro Adegboye. All right? All of us are soul winners. So it is not the work of the pastor alone. All of us are supposed to be soul winners. And like I told us, uh, our resource person is an accomplished academic, a professor from the university, uh, uh, Amadou Bello University, Zaria. But God has called him into this ministry for the past 61 years. He's doing no other thing but so winning all over the place. All right? Like I told you also, he's not married. He's married to so winning. I hope those pe people like that will not challenge us when we get to heaven. We are married. We have children. We have everything going for us. Yet, we cannot win souls. That is the challenge we are bringing. So that all of us this year, some souls will be attached to our names. So that our heads will not be empty when we get to heaven. Alright, the Lord is going to help us in Jesus' name. So let's pray. Let's begin to pray from now. Item 6, our calendar, still available. Uh, launching to purchase a new bus, still ongoing. Let's look at the figure. It's in, uh, this is a very high rate of success. At least at this level, we are looking for 100 M. We have pledged 18.3 and we have redeemed 17.2 in 17.2 at least when you match the pledge with what has been redeemed it is a successful one as far as this church is concerned but we are still going very far god will do something new i can hear a good amen god will see something let me say something here if you check the center of your bulletin uh the church accounts those some people usually ask for we have added some other ones, but it's on the bulletin. In case you want to do any tithe or offering or thanksgiving or special donation in those currencies, please let's take note that they are there. The Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. The entrance exam for our nursery and primary school also will take place uh, August 3rd. The forms are already on sale. The forms are already on sale. As we were doing the exam yesterday, some people called me, they, they were asking the head teacher who was in Ring Road. About seven parents were calling that we should start a primary school in Ring Road. Because they want to bring their children to the same school instead of you drop one in the north and you take another one to the south. I said we will pray about it. God will lead us. It's not easy, but God will lead us. They want a complete service. 
I believe one way or the other, God will make a way. But this one is already ongoing. Please, let's take advantage. A-level also is ongoing. Our children will start the exam next month by the special grace of God. Those vacancies in attempt time, this is assist as we prepare for another session. Appreciation. The following families are expressing their appreciation to the church. The family of late Mr. B.C. Ogundipe uh, for the ceremony of uh, their late mother last Friday. Then, of course, the family of Boras Christopher and Dickness Atinuke Olunloyo, the burial ceremony of their father, father-in-law, also on Friday. Let's take note of the following sympathy also. Uh, Mama Idowu Oyedele and her brother Oyekunle and sister Mobolanle Oyedele and all the children. The home call of their father, father-in-law, and great-grandfather, Lieutenant Colonel Joseph Oyetunde Oyedele. Uh, it took place Tuesday, January 9th. So the burial service we hold this Friday, April 12th, at the Chapel of Transfiguration School of Nursing, Luth, Idiaraba, Lagos. So members, uh, we join them in that ceremony. We also want to announce a sympathy with uh, Mr. Demola and Mrs. Afolake Alabi and children for the home call of their mother, mother-in-law and grandmother, senior apostolic mother, Oluare Milekun Esther Lawode Oseni. Uh, the burial service we hold this Friday, April 12th, at Palm Beach Compound, opposite Cross Nostrum Primary School, number three, Adal, Adano Lane, via Tejo Show Road, Barracks, Bus Stop, Suru, Lere. Members will also join them. Then the last one is uh, the family and children, especially Baba Benjamin, Fisha, Yawuyemi, and children, for the home call of their wife, mother, and grandmother, Mama Esther, Olauti, Yawuyemi. Uh, it took place on Saturday, January 20, 24, at 88. The work if we hold this Thursday at number 15, he recited those streets behind Ari Shokola Mosque, he would at 4 p.m., and then burial service will take place in our church on Friday. Please, all our units that are concerned, please, let's take note. Uh, let's look at inside the box. Uh, only communion service has taken place today, CAC and the rest of them that are there. Please, let's take of them. Let's begin to pray for our convention in session. It is this month. Uh, we, we emphasize that other Sundays. All right, the Youth Fellowship, they are expressing their profound gratitude to the pastorate and the entire church for their general support and prayers towards the success of the 2024 Easter Reflection at Adua Waye. The church of God is moving forward and the gate of hell shall never prevail against the church. Uh, let me appreciate um, Barista Lakunle, especially. We, we, he went home specially to receive our youth. Barista Lakunle, thank you very much. And mommy, thank you. He went home specially to receive them in Adua Hawaii because uh, and, uh, they also uh, they visited the KBAC and the rest of them. And they ate Otili. I don't know how many of us knew Otili. If we are from Okiogun, you will know Otili. Uh, it's one powerful bean that we use. And after eating it, you can do many wonders on the farm. That was, that was what they ate. Thank you very much. Our youth will continue to grow in Jesus' name. All right, testimony. I want to sincerely appreciate God for his faithfulness and loving kindness upon my life from childhood until this moment. To God be the glory. On Thursday, 4th of April 2024, I passed out from the National Youth Service Corps ever since inception in the year 2023. The Lord saw me through. Even when I had to camp in Amada, Gombe State, he protected my going and coming back. And since I started my youth service at the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, we didn't come under attack. And I performed up to expectation. Church, help me sing this song. Eze Ebube, see how far you brought me. This is coming from our brother, Jadenyo Emmanuel Adewoye. Uh, the next one is just a man of money to appreciate God. 
the, the, next, the next one says, Greetings to the entire church in Jesus' name. As a family, we write to appreciate the faithfulness of God on us all. May his name be glorified forever. We want to thank God for the journey message we enjoyed in our last trip and for God's care on us all during our stay. God be praised forever. Last Friday, the 5th of April, was our wedding anniversary. We are 44 years old in marriage. To God alone be the glory. Pray for us that the years ahead will be much fruitful in Jesus' name. Token enclosed. The next one, our family sincerely appreciate the pastorate, Oni Pekpaya House Fellowship, Youth Fellowship, Sanctuary, Kiaras, WMU President, and other members of the church for their prayers, support, and presence during the funeral service of our dear mother, Olufemi Fashino, at Union Baptist Church, Ejigbo. All your condolence messages and visits are well appreciated. Coming from Brother Adetayo and Abimbola Adesoya, token sent to the church account. The next one, I prayed and I, and I planned, but things did not work the way I wanted. I was very sad. On our way home on Friday, I gave my husband my phone to transfer a particular amount to a woman that sold a product for us because I have an account number on my phone. The transfer was successful, but my husband forgot my phone on our car as we drove to our house. The good news is that the phone fell off the car and a good Samaritan picked the phone, called us, and my husband went to call, collect the phone. I did not plan or pray on the phone. The Spirit of God told me that whatever I have lost or misplaced carelessly or unknowingly will be replaced. Any member that have lost a sin or the other will see it in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. I think God wants to prove to you that he is still in control. The next one says, letter of thanksgiving. All who have received freedom in Jesus Christ, praise the Lord. My heart is free with gratitude for God's awesome deed in performing the greatest miracle possible in my life. I give glory to the Most High God and the author and sustainer of life as I celebrate my second and most important birthday. When I handed over my life to Christ for total control, yesterday, 6th of April, marked my 50th year in, Jesus, in Christ Jesus. Where do I begin to recount God's goodness? Even when I did not know him, he kept pursuing me, not minding my insensitivity and stubbornness of heart. At his appointed time, he rescued my life from the grip of Satan and gave me eternal life. He held my hand and chose to walk with me in the journey of life. I have disappointed him severally. Yet he will not give up on me. He gave all my sins as I turned to him. He forgave all my sins as I turned to him, seeking mercy. God watches over me jealously, and he gave me a new name. I pledge my allegiance to Christ to serve him faithfully as long as he lends me breath. I receive grace to make placing Christ my life priority. Pray with me to continually walk with him. And I'm inviting those who are here to experience this new birth to join in this glorious experience. The one redeemed with the most precious blood. The next one says, testimony of deliverance from vehicular accidents, death, and healing from severe consequential injury. Oh God of Ori Tamefa Baptist Church, the woman you saved has come to say thank you. On the 18th day of October 2023, I had just alighted from a vehicle which I boarded to the area of my workplace. While walking, facing the front towards the entrance of the secondary school where I teach, a Siena space bus was refusing to pick up an acquaintance from the rear side by a careless driver. Suddenly, the vehicle hit me at the back with a loud bang. I fell down immediately and it ran over my left foot. He took the passers-by and some of my colleagues around who raised alarm for him to stop the car. Alas, my foot opened up from the big toe to the ankle area and streams of blood was gushing out immediately. I was rushed to a nearby hospital where Dr. Jesus led two medical doctors and other medical personnel who worked on the foot in the operation theater room. Although I had to stay off work, working stay off work while meeting up with a series of medical appointments as well as the physiotherapy 
for a long time. But the, the greatest physician, the manufacturer of the balm of Gilead, has put me back on my feet, dancing and jumping. May his name be praised forever in the name of Jesus. This daughter of Zion is thanking the pastors, the deacons and deaconesses, um, members of Waka Jaye as Fellowship, Mokola as Fellowship, uh, WMU, MMU, Sunday School Department, Sanctuary Carers, Church Decoration, uh, and everyone that God has used. And my darling, loving, caring husband and children, may God reward your labor of love in Jesus' name. From a daughter of Zion, token and close. Can we put our hands together for the Lord? Because it took the grace of God that she was not crushed. The next one says, we have been blessed with a bouncing baby grandchild. Through the family of Evangelist and Mrs. Olayode, through their children, Bolu, Lanry, Onosoya, the baby parents and grandparents are all doing well to the glory of God. Token transfer to the church. Mama Melonia, congratulations if you are still around. Another new granddaughter. Another new granddaughter. People of God, join my family in praising God for the gift of a beautiful and bouncing baby girl to us on 1st of April, 2024. Glory be to God for promoting my wife and I to Grandma and Grandpa Keda. Token already transferred to the church account. Fortunately, they wrote Ebiti Oluwamon. God knows them in the spirit. They didn't write their name. The next one says, Unto the God, the Father be the glory for great things he has done. Unto the Lord, the Son be glory. Myself and my daughter give all the glory unto the Trinity as we are one year older today, 7th of April. Let the angels and the hosts of heaven plus the saints on her and everyone that has breath, even in this church, please shout and help us to shout, Praise the Lord! For this seventh day of the month of covenant of fruitfulness and enlargement. All right? They are praising the Lord. And this is coming from Eri Oluwa and Adekunle Oluwa Dari, token, token transfer to the church account. All right? And that is the last testimony. Glory be to God. Can we just rise as we put our hands together for those things that God has done? And then we will pray for those who are celebrating their birthdays. Thank you very much. Father, we thank you for our brothers who have written testimonies to the pulpit. Various and different dimensions of miracles, divine provisions, and many deliverances that you have done. Even those that were not written, and it has happened in our lives as we are standing. We say your name be praised forever in Jesus' name. Amen. We are praying that all the days of our lives, our lives, our families, we never lack miracles in the name of Jesus. For our brothers and sisters who are celebrating their birthday, wedding anniversaries, the names written here and those that are not written this week, Immortal God, we ask their praises, their thanksgiving this week and forever will be acceptable unto you in Jesus' name. And according to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, 23 to 24, the God of peace will make them holy in every way. Their spirit, soul, and body will be kept blameless until Jesus will come again in the name of Jesus. God will make all of these and many more to happen to them because the one who has called them is faithful. So all the days of their lives, they will enjoy the faithfulness of God. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much for your patience. We go to the Thanksgiving, and from there, we begin to round off. Uh, let's welcome, as the worship team comes, the family of our daddy and mommy, uh, Mr. Thomas and Sister Lydie Alagbe, for the 70th birthday Thanksgiving. Worship team. 
Baba ni gbati ari besheto Baba ni gbati ari besheto Baba ni gbati ari besheto Awa so pe ope loye Baba gba o ani gbati ari besheto ari besheto ari gbati ari besheto Baba 70 has written a letter thanking God for sparing my life to attain age 70. It is the hand of the Lord. All glory be to God. From Mr. Thomas Oladokun Alagbe. Congratulations, sir, ma, and the children. Please, can you go on your knees as we pray? Church, let us pray. Father, we thank you for the grace to see 70. The one you have saved, the one you have healed, the one you protected, the one you blessed has come to say thank you. Lord Jesus, today we join him to say thank you. Accept our heart of gratitude in the name of Jesus. We commit him afresh unto you, Father, as he continues to live. Father, please bless him. We ask, Heavenly Father, Please continue to make his life fruitful. We declare from this holy altar. David says in Psalm 92 verse 11, he said, He has poured upon me fine oil. Today we release unto you oil of gladness. We release unto you oil of joy. In the name of Jesus the rest of your years are great ones. The rest of your years, they are lovely ones. The beautiful things God has done for you, the devil will not take over. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Oh, Baba, we pray for you. You will celebrate 80. We pray for your wife and the children also, that the Lord will keep every one of them. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, living Father, for answered prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Amen. Jesus, now you be your God. Oh, Lord, our God, that's so, so, yeah, yeah. Every other God, that's so, so, yeah, yeah. Jesus, now you be your God. Now you be your God. Uh, let me find out if the Ogundi are in church. The Ogundi 
All right, they are not here. It's all right. So let's go to the home dedication of our brother and sister, Raulua Tobi, and comfort or learning on. Also written to the pulpit, our note of appreciation and thanksgiving to God and our church family. It is with untold joy and happiness that myself, my wife, and family write this note of appreciation to God Almighty and our church family. Planning our wedding program in the first quarter was never my plan starting the year, but when God says it is time, then it is final. He is indeed Jehovah overdue. We also appreciate the pastorate and the church for their prayer, support, and gifts during the program, preparation on our wedding day and after. May God continue to move his church forward in Jesus' name. The newest Olanirons. Thank you for celebrating God in their lives. So our brother, brother Toby and sister Comfort, please go on your knees as we pray. Father, we thank you, the author of marriage. We give you praise for bringing these ones together. Oh, they spent some weeks together. You have sustained them. There is no doubt that you have brought them together. And you are there to support them. So we are committing them afresh unto you, Father. Please bless this union. On this holy altar today, we declare that your marriage is blessed. Amen. Your marriage is fruitful. Amen. In the name of Jesus. We dedicate you afresh unto God from this holy altar. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we declare Five years, 10 years, 20 years from now, we will look at you and still celebrate. Amen. Nothing will separate you. In the name of Jesus, you will carry your children. Oh, you will carry your children's children. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray.
because I will not re Ah, uh, It's time to give our guests uh, fuller recognition. And uh, I will call your name. As I call your name, please get on your feet and keep standing until I call every name and then give you, welcome you together. The first one that I have here is Abioye Odunwa, your Priscilla. Yeah. Coincidentally, it's from my home church, Church of My Nativity. First Baptist Church, Secretary. You are welcome. Ode Odunbi. The next name is Miss Eunice Ojebisi. Is from Graceland Baptist Church, Okoba Oyo. The following people have uh, shown their intention of joining the membership of the church. Oko Priscilla is from Abayo area. He's uh, a guest of grandma. And uh, Mrs. Bolanle Olale is from First Baptist Church. You didn't put the town. It's a guest of Mr. Kayo de Olale. He wants to become a member of this church. Sheko uh, Joy Abidemi is from Christ Eternal Life Miracle Church. And uh, this first name, I, don't, I can't read it well, but it's uh, Olumu Iwa. Yeah. He's from College Press, Jericho Ibadan. And then First Baptist Church, Ibadan. Said the Holy Spirit directed him to this place. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the owner of the church, and our pastor, Reverend Diron Adeleke, our associate pastor, Reverend Chewola Wuri, and the entire membership of the church, we'd like to say welcome to our midst. And there's no doubt that you have been blessed because Uluwajeke Jasi Ire by the covenant of uh, fruitfulness and uh, enlargement, and you have received the power to, and to be fruitful. And I pray that that power will abide with you forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Please, at the close of service, do not be in the haste to leave. Our ministers will come right there to have a chat with you. And then those that are willing to join the membership, they will show you the way. The Lord bless you as you go. Remain blessed and be seated. We thank God for how far he has helped us. We are going to the end of the service now. As we take the recessional hymn, we take the love offering. The love offering. So ushers, we please prepare. Uh, the second thing I want to say is that the new Frontiers television crew are around. Uh, they called me during the week that they will be coming here today. You know, we are, the president has told us that we are celebrating the super centenary anniversary of the convention. That is um, 110 years. So they are here so that if there are individuals or families who want to facilitate the convention. So we just greet the convention president, greet the Baptist family and the rest of them. But you know, it's going to attract a token, I think 5,000 or thereabout, just for us to facilitate. Now, New Frontiers is our home, and that thinks that's, that's why they are here. So if you are approached or you are interested, uh, I believe the crew will be somewhere around this place to attend to us. Thank you very much as you support the New Frontiers television. Can we rise for the closing prayer? and benediction. I want us to talk to the Lord as we walk deeper into the month of April and say to the Lord, tell the Lord, this month order my step in your word. I have received fruitfulness. I will be fruitful. I will not wither. I will not dry up. I will blossom, I will flourish, I will subdue, I will dominate. 
I will behave true to type according to the word of God. I will not shrink. I will not lose anything in this month of April. There shall be no loss, no emergency. As I saw the end of March, I will also, with my family, I will see the end of April. With testimonies, testimonies with rejoicing. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Now, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest upon every one of us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Thank you for your patience throughout the service. The recession I him is him 58. He leadeth me, O oh blessed thought.